Scientists find new lead in Kokolisli mystery. Scientists have come one step closer to unlocking the secrets of a centuries-old contagion. New research published in Nature, Ecology and Evolution details a study looking at teeth from the remains of 29 skeletons at a centuries-old burial site in Toposkolula, Yakunda. Those at the burial site are said to have died during the Kokolisli outbreak, a 1545 epidemic that killed millions. The study linked the DNA found at a Teposkolula Yakunda with a subspecies of Salmonella enterica connected with the deadly enteric typhoid fever. The Kokolisli outbreak lasted from 1545 to 1550. According to National Geographic, another study from 2017 found the same bacteria on the remains of a Norwegian woman who passed in 1200. But whether or not the Mexican outbreak was from colonial Europeans remains unknown. Deeper Understandings It might soon be a permanent game over for coral reefs. Warming waters are hurting the world's coral reefs almost five times more than they did 30 years ago. Scientists looked at bleaching data in 100 coral reefs. They found that the frequency of bleaching from warmer waters increased fivefold from once every few decades to once every six years. Bleaching occurs when the reef reacts to stressful changes in temperature, light, nutrients, and other conditions. This makes the reef eject the symbiotic algae in their tissue and turn pale white. Corals can survive and even recover, but continued bleaching eventually leads to death. According to the National Ocean Service, coral reefs are considered sessile animals, meaning they're fixed to one place. The World Wildlife Fund says they provide almost 30 billion U.S. dollars in goods and services every year. They're also important for tourism, coast protection against heavy storms, typhoons, and even tsunamis. This will be spectacular. A mega-rare cosmic event is going to grace the sky at the end of this month. Regular lunation, the moon's orbit of the Earth, follows a 29-day cycle. This is why, in general, there is usually one full moon a month. The lunar eclipse on January 30th, 2018, will be extra special as it will be twinned with another lunar event. Blue moons occur when there are two full moons in a month, usually at the beginning and very end. On January 31st, the lunar eclipse at the end of January will coincide with a blue moon for the first time in 152 years. Much of Asia, Australasia and Northwest America will get a quality view of the celestial event. Most of South America, Africa and Western Europe will not be able to see it. The rest of the world will have a limited view based on their location. And no, the moon's not actually blue. The naming, according to Farmer's Almanac, may have carried over from the Old English bilu, which means to betray. This probably was in reference to how a blue moon betrays a standard lunation. There's ice on Mars. Sheets of ice exist close to the Martian surface. New research published in the journal Science looked at data from spacecraft on eight locations on Mars and found large swaths of ice. The sheets are said to be located near the surface as well as close to depths of 100 meters. Researchers also found cliffs made up of water ice. According to Science, the ice sheets could be useful for future missions to Mars. In other words, water might just be within our reach on Mars. How cool is that?